Hey, everybody. OK, we're going to go very, very fast, because I have multiple slides. OK, so Unix OC1. What are the problems with Unix OC1 for IPFS that are not fixable in just the existing Unix OC1? So the big one is that like everything is in DAG PB, and for like a variety of reasons, we would love to move on to like all these great new DAG formats, actually one called DAG Seabor. Uh, you can, there's a very inflexible DAG structure for Unix OC1, so if you have a bunch of tiny files and a tiny directory, you can't just inline all of that into one block. You, you end up with a lot of hops for a lot of tiny, tiny files. Um, and, you know, like Liddell was talking about earlier, you end up getting inconsistent hashes based on the parameters that you pass in. And there's no good way to look at the data and go, oh, what were the parameters that were used to create this um, so that you could then reproduce the same hash again given those parameters. Um, from IPLD's point of view, you can sort of think of UnixFS and really IPFS as like the first IPLD use case. So IPFS built all of these amazing tools for making working, working with Merkle DAGs easier. And then when you go to the IPLD layer, you don't have a bunch of those tools anymore. So in IPLD, we really need like a lot of great ways to uh, work with paths, for instance, or to program paths. Um, and we, need a, we definitely need a way to upgrade these data structures in the future uh, without you know, updating every single client that ever talked to a data structure. Um, so how do you do that? So IPLD really needs a model for implementing data structures and then putting that implementation into the data itself. Um, so we're, we're talking about lots of ways to use this. I don't have time to go into it in depth. Um, but essentially, this would be a programmatic interface so that you could have nice paths for your data. And in fact, Unix v 2 could just implement the nice IPFS pathing in this IPLD system, and that would be available to everyone else who uses IPLD as well. Also, the system can enforce that these uh, programmatic functions for, for dealing with the data structure only get access to the things inside of their data. So that would actually force us to take all those parameters that we use to create these structures and put them into the, in, into the actual data itself. So then we would be able to reproduce the hash um, of any file given new data because we would know all of the configuration and parameters that it took. And I'm done with time to spare. Whew.